The idea really developed from the government actually talking to me about building a school. I said, I don't want to build a school because I was lousy at school. I said, what about we build an academy? We wanted to create a place of learning to do with retail that was fun, was exciting, incorporated the vision of the future. Philip first called me about the Fashion Retail Academy. He did it in his normal, inimitable way. He rang me up and said, I need a check off you. I said to him, Philip, that's probably worth a conversation. So I went around, had a chat, and we talked about his idea to found the Fashion Retail Academy, which was about developing and training the next generation of people who are going to run retail. We felt that we needed to work with an external partner to help bring through a pipeline of talent. We wanted to build up a team of individuals that are some of the best in the industry. It's an institution that was created by business, for business, and actually that's really rare. When we first opened 10 years ago, we just had two very, very small rooms with 50 students. I graduated um, from the very first year of FRA. I knew that I was going to be educated by people who had experiences and who'd be able to lead me to hopefully interesting prospects. We bought the building and we started the work. It felt like a warehouse or something. It was big, empty rooms. And then it was just a gleam in Sir Philip's eye. We got the keys and I think within 12 months we'd opened it. It was a fantastic achievement. I remember it's Tony Blair coming to open the Academy. That really made it feel as if we were doing something different and something that was worthwhile. And I graduated back in 2007 with the Philip Green Most Outstanding Student Award. When I was at the FRA, I won the Martin Spence Award for Enterprise. It was amazing. It was the best education I could have had. The 30 Under 30 Award is for up-and-coming people in the fashion industry. Winning that award was obviously amazing. When I left, I started at Selfridges, and now I'm at the Isle of Man buying all the brands for that. I won the Special Recognition Tesco Award that year. Went on to work for Geeves on Hawks on Savile Row, and just started working with Paul Smith. I think it's a very fast-paced, very fun, dynamic environment to work in and I loved every second of it. My proudest moment at the Fashion Retail Academy was definitely entering the Retail Futures Challenge and we had FNF as one of our mentors. The competition ended with us going to Barcelona to present at the World Retail Congress. We ended up winning the competition that year. From that, FNF offered me a job as a trainee buyer. It kind of started my career from there. I was awarded the Marks and Spencers Award and I actually did my placement at Marks and Spencers and during my placement I was actually offered a full-time job. Marks and Spencers, we have an uptake of uh, between 40 and 60 work placements here in our company. We've been absolutely overwhelmed with the calibre of the students coming through. It's a good cooperation to be close to business for students. It's very good for us to test it with people that are really sharp and very retail focused. I got asked to go to House of Commons with the British Fashion Council to help petition for British fashion and sort of help basically get a bit more funding for places like the FRA. I'm in an amazing position, I love my job and I owe a lot of that to the FRA. The best masterclass I had was with Jason Terry prior to me actually doing the three weeks work experience for FNF, which inspired me hugely and now I have a job here. Everything that I'm doing now I learnt there and it's just putting it into practice. The Fashion Retail Academy gives us an all-rounded individual, somebody that has got the ability and the skill set to progress much quicker.
Working on the next industry project was really beneficial. Lots of universities took part and then myself and Holly came joint second and won a work trial and that's how we got our jobs. It made me really realise that this is what I want to do. I went home and said I'm going to be a buyer and FRA helped me realise that that was my dream. Roughly a quarter of all the people we take on in buying have come from the Fashion Academy. I think they come job ready. They're really passionate, really interested, really engaged. They're go-getters, they're strivers, they tend to want to progress. The FRA is above anywhere else. People recognise us and people know that we have learnt from some of the best in the industry. I was the first ever student president of the college. I was able to go to the top 20 meeting with Sir Philip, which was amazing. He wanted to hear about the progress and all of the different work experience that we'd done. Arcadia came in to do an assessment day and that's where I was offered the job at Topshop. I think it's a really lovely story when you can see a student coming in to meet Sir Philip Green in the top 20 um, and then to next see her in an elevator getting off on the fourth floor at Topshop. Last year we did um, like a functioning fashion show where it had the graduating students and it kind of made me cry because they were students that I'd taught over the years. That's why you become a teacher so that you can see them achieve their dreams. I'm sure Nearly every person in that room leaves with a list of people that they want to be in touch with to offer them a job. What we're able to do both now and certainly our plans for the future is changing people's lives and it's actually securing people jobs. They'll be able to you know, earn a living and do something they love and that they're passionate about. And in that sense, I think the next 10 years is going to be equally exciting.